and keep in spirit with what this thing always was or started out to be and now it's TV on the net. It's what our children are doing. That's how they watch television. Hey, I want to introduce my friend Ingrid. Well, come up here, Ingrid Mickelson. All right, let me. Right? Okay. Oh, gosh. All right.
Should just do Cindy Lauper covers for the rest of the night. No. All right, now we're going to do one of my songs. <laughs> I'm like shaking still. I'm a puddle of shaky fan girlness. Okay. All right. 
Yeah, she was just like, say something in rehearsal. And I was like, fuck, what? what happened? Oh shit, so sorry, what happened? No. <laughs> Zero five second delay. <laughs> cool. All right. Hope all the eight year olds are watching. All right. companies filling their bottles up to here. So I spill it all over myself. Mm. Mm. Okay, we're going to do a song I wrote in 1855. <laughs> Lady Gaga doesn't drink in front of her people, but I, I'm not Lady Gaga. <laughs> okay. This is a song I wrote a very, very long time ago. I... I wasn't dating anybody. I can't touch my hair, right? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, I wasn't dating anybody. I was very lonesome and sad and poor me. And so I wrote this song as sort of like a little wish. 
and um, it didn't come true for a very, very long time, but everybody started using it as their wedding songs, which is really awesome for them. <laughs> and after every show, it's our wedding song, it's our wedding song, it's our wedding song, and I'm like the hammer in the single girl coffin for years and years, and so I started to loathe the song, um, but I'm in a better place now, don't worry about me, I'm okay. <laughs> so we're gonna sing it for you now. If you were falling, then I would catch you. If you need a light, I find a match. Cause I'm not in love the way that you say good morning. And you take me. Lovely, beautiful Kelsey Valerini. Yeah, Lee. Oh, it's a taller one. I'm a giant. I mean, I don't know how I get to share the stage with you guys. This is insane. Um, thank you, Skyville, for having me. Um, you know, when I when I started this whole journey of being an artist, I wanted to write good songs. I wanted to let my heart lead, and I wanted to have fun. And I think that this woman right here is the example of that. So thank you for being a wonderful role model. Um, I want to kick things off with a song that um, is my favorite song on my record. It's a song that I hope you hear a lot more of. It's called Peter Pan. Smile the charm, the words, the spark, everything you had it. I guess I had a naive heart, cause boy, I let you have it. You said I was your only, I never thought you'd leave me lonely. You're just a lost boy with your head up in the clouds. You're just a lost boy, you never keep your feet. Cause you know Peace. 
Listen, pardon me, just wanted to believe in you, yeah. But now it's happily ever and ever. I guess now I'm no better. You're just a lost boy with your head. Too busy chasing stars And you're always gonna fly away Just because you know Nashville, I would love to play you one of my favorite classic country songs. Um, Eddie Arnold and then Martina McBride did this song, and um, I hope I can do it a sliver of justice. Make the world go
Matt, will you give it up for this band? What in the world? Um, so I have one more song for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move around. Um, this song I remember writing um, over a Wednesday night with three of my guy friends eating pizza, which is basically the story of my life in a nutshell. And um, we were talking about uh, female empowerment and how um, I believe that girls should be loved correctly. <laughs> and um, we wrote this song called Love Me Like You Mean It, and it ended up being my first single, and um, it's, it's, been a, it's been a wild and beautiful ride since then. So if you know it, sing it with me. Like 
stack them high in our little mall and I'll let them burn. Your broken stars don't mean a thing. You made their bed. Good luck falling back asleep. Well, I should have seen you coming. It should have sent me running. That's what I get for loving you. song I need um, a nap. I love this song I'm going to play and I can say that it's not one of mine so I think I can say that. Um, I've been playing it for so many years now that it almost feels like one of my own. If you know it, sing along. your part. Thank you. 
friend can I call you my friend my friend my friend is coming back on the stage Cindy Cindy Lauper my friend what are we doing okay yeah I gotta get my uh, wardrobe malfunction going well we're doing good so far great bands Great women. This is a song by a great woman. Well, actually, she didn't write it, but neither did the guy that I thought wrote it, Hank Williams. He didn't write it either. <laughs> Which was a little confusing for me because, you know, <clears throat> I came to Nashville, actually, to work on a, a recording. I did a recording in Nashville with Tony Brown, who's here. I had wanted to work with Seymour Stein for a long time. And um, he was kind of under the impression I could sing anything, you know. And I thought, yeah, maybe some bass, I don't know. But anyway, but uh, he had suggested that I do these songs from this time period when, when blues and country walked hand in hand. Mm -hmm. And as he put it, just before Elvis kicked the door down. But see, I cut my teeth as a singer, listening to Wanda Jackson, Patsy Cline, and Elvis. Give me a little more gain here, buddy. Thank you. Um, and uh, this was one of the songs that I really loved. And I first heard it. Um, I guess I, I first heard Hank Williams sing it, and then I heard Patsy Cline sing it, and and I had to actually forget everything, because if I thought about it, I probably wouldn't sing at all, comparing myself to them. But um, I humbly uh, offer this here song up. I, it's on the album Detour. It's another Detour for those of you who've been following me for a long time. You know, I always come to that fork in the road, you know. What can I say? Go fork yourself. No. <laughs> but you know, and I always take it, so. Anyway, this wonderful band, these two guys, I, I worked with these two guys in the band, so that's good, because they can count. <laughs> you can, I can make it to four, too, but not eight. That's a problem. Okay, you hit it. Go out walking after midnight out in the moonlight, just like we used to do. I'm always walking after midnight, searching for you. I walk for miles along the highway, well, that's just my way of saying I love you. I'm always walking after midnight. Searching for you I stop 
Um, so this is a song that um, I usually am always asked to sing, and I guess because it was one of those songs, you know, I was lucky enough to sing it. Oh, we got three of these. All right, well, you can have that back. Okay. Um, I actually learned how to play dulcimer because I went into a music shop. I saw Harold and Maud. And, you know, I always wanted to go into a music shop and buy a lot of instruments and then perhaps learn them. I left my trombone home, but I think you'd be more fortunate. I'm still working on Mary Had a Little Lamb. I'm going to get it good one day. But anyway, um, this was one of those songs... Uh, I had bought the dulcimer in, the, in this music shop. I bought all kinds of old things. And I, I think, actually, Chrissy Hines said, oh, yeah, and you can get a Mel Bay's book, and you can figure it out. And I got really excited. So, of course, I got the Mel Bay's book, because I learned everything reading Mel Bay's um, books. Um, but uh, my teacher then, I, I met this guy, David Schnaufer, who was from here. And he's passed away now, but he was my dulcimer teacher. I can't brag that I really play well because he probably, he liked that I played. But I never did the scales he wanted me to do, so I still don't, so don't blame him because if I play bad, you know, it's not his fault. <laughs> but I used to come here all the time. Wait, sorry. And write in Hendersonville. I was writing dance music. You have a lot of different kinds of musicians here in Nashville. I thought it was only country, but it's not. Anyway, I was here working on um, Sisters of Avalon, and uh, I wrote a song that he played on, and I played Dulcima, but um, I started playing this song, uh, True Colors, on Dulcima, and... Um, I guess the first time I played it, I was on my way to a Japanese television show. And I'm still trying to figure it out. I played it. It was
So now, wait, where are we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So now I'd like to introduce my friends here. Kelsey, come on up here. Take that one. Thank you. Hello, oh, doll. All right. You ready?
上。